So if you're wondering what baby food should I get for my baby or how do I shop for baby food, this is the video for you. Okay, so for parents to figure out what to feed their baby, there's so many challenges because not only are there a million baby foods, but there's also like, what are we supposed to start with? What do we go to next? How often can we switch? So hopefully this video will help demystify the issue of baby foods. I think that parents are, the, the challenge is often that you want to do what's right for your baby. You want them to try lots of foods, but you don't want to mess things up. And you're worried that you might mess things up without even trying just because there's so many rules and the rules are constantly changing. So with this video, we're going to talk through exactly how to start baby food for your child. Now, if you look at the baby food aisle, there's like a million different choices. And what brand is right, what food is right, how do we start? In general, pretty much everything that you see here is marketing and advertising. The difference between this $1.88 and this $4 baby food is nothing. It's all packaging and it's all branding and it's all marketing. Um, the, the developmentally able foods like if you look here it'll say like do this when they can crawl and do this when they can walk and those sort of things just feed your baby just make it simple make it easy for your family by not complicating things by not making it so precious and so rigid if you just get food for your baby you can try it in any order you can pick whatever brand you like to start with you can work through them as quickly as you like you don't have to wait days or weeks between trying new foods Really, it just comes down to, what do I think my baby would like? I think they would like some bananas and sweet potatoes. I think they would like some apple or zucchini or pear or squash or whatever it is. Just choose something and try it. And they might take a bite, they might eat the whole jar, they might hate it. Soon you'll see that your baby will try, like, and love all the different foods that you're offering them. Okay, so there are so many choices that I actually keep dropping them because I can't hold all the different options in my hands. And these are just for brand new babies, like four month, six month old baby foods. And there's so many options and so many choices. And for parents, it's overwhelming to look at all these options and think, how am I going to figure out what the right choice is for me? Now, none of these companies are obviously paying me because I'm gonna tell you, get the cheapest that you can in the baby food aisle because this $1.08 versus this organic care, purple carrot, raspberry, like what baby is so precious that they need purple carrots? And so I would suggest that you save your money and instead of investing in organic, grass-fed, um, you know, cage-free carrots and pears, <laughs> that you just buy what's most affordable for your family and what you think your baby would like. At the end of the day, it will not matter. Your baby is not that precious. Your baby is not that rigid. Save your money, get the cheaper stuff, avoid these like starter kits that just have like two tablespoons full because you're paying for the packaging rather than paying for the food. And at the end of the day, what you're going to find is most of this will end up, most of this, you know, $2 per can, um, purple carrot, raspberry, organic puree, will still end up on your baby's outfit and not in their mouth and not providing them with any nutrition at all. So you can just save your money and stick with the cheap stuff, work your way through however you like. They talk on here about sitters and crawlers and cruisers and all those different things. It's not that precious. You don't have to get that particular about, well, my baby can't have this food on the shelf yet because they're not sitting quite on their own. Or wait, 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 don't give that baby that because he hasn't crawled yet on his own. Just find out what your baby likes. Try yeah, new things, right. try new flavors and textures, and don't worry about um, the developmental stages. Okay, now a lot of parents want to know about puffs. Like, when can I introduce puffs? Because these companies have done a really good job of making you think that puffs are a developmental stage and a developmental milestone that we should, you know, celebrate. No baby needs puffs. No baby needs yogurt bites. These are $3 for a package. Most of them will end up in the carpet or um, stuck in their car seat. Save your money. Just 
eat the food that you think baby would like. Feed baby the food that you are eating. Once you get to this stage where they can pinch stuff and pick it up, okay, I'm gonna drop these things. Once you get to the stage where you can, baby can pinch stuff and pick it up, just move on to real food. You don't have to get puffs, you don't have to get baby Cheetos, you don't have to get um, yogurt bites or all those other things. This is all marketing. This does not make your baby healthy. This does not help their development in any special way. Yes, yogurt bites kind of taste great. Yes, apple cinnamon puffs are quite delicious, but you can save your money and just stick with real food for your baby once they get to that stage. Okay, so at the end of the day, just feed the baby. And I actually created a cheat sheet for parents on how to get started with solid foods. And if you want, click the link below and you'll get a copy of that so you can take that with you or give that to your mother-in-law as you go about feeding your baby the normal foods. When it comes down to it, your baby is not precious. Your baby does not need the most expensive baby food, the purple carrot puree, all of the things that you've been trained by all of these companies to say, okay, we have to have this if we want a healthy growing baby or if we want to provide the best nutrition we can for the baby. Just feed your baby. You can start with whatever you want. You can switch as often as you like. It's good to introduce the typical foods that used to they used to say don't introduce those because of the risk of allergies so peanut butter is good to introduce before 12 months and it's best if you can introduce it between 6 and 12 months on a frequent basis the easiest way to do that is just to mix some peanut butter into whatever puree you're giving your baby to start with put it on some toast and cut it up into tiny bites and let babies try that same with eggs you can do scrambled eggs or little bites of egg on a spoon or something like that it's good to expose baby to those things on a regular basis. And if you want to avoid this aisle altogether, you can simply make your own baby food. Whatever foods, fruits or vegetables are in season or that you like, just make them into a puree, make them into something that you think baby would like, put it on the tray, let baby try. At the end of the day, it's not precious. Your baby will do just fine with whatever you give them. And if you're worried about food allergies, I just recorded a podcast with Nationwide Children's Hospital, pediatric allergist, Dr. David Stukas, all about allergies and how to make sure that you're doing what's right as you feed your baby to prevent allergies because allergies have exploded in the past decade. There's so many um, EpiPens out there and peanut free tables at lunch and there's good guidance on how to avoid the need for going down the rabbit hole of food allergies. So check out that podcast episode on Parenting Matters Podcast if you want to learn more. Hopefully this video has been helpful and will hopefully save you some money. Before you go, click the red bell, which is up there, I think, um, so that you find out when we release new videos. And if you'd like a copy of the Cave Baby Feeding Regimen, click the link below and you'll get a copy so that you have the information that you need when you're ready to start feeding your baby. Feeding the baby is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be enjoyable. It's supposed to be a new, exciting stage. Don't worry, don't stress out, don't take the fun out of it by getting focused on all of this and trying to make sure you're doing it right. I guarantee you're doing it right.